Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in, well, wait a minute, I'm not in my little shack in the corner, it's a couple of states away. I'm in a hotel room in Wichita, Kansas, Wichita. and uh, thought that it would be really interesting if we talked about taking uh, uh, HT on the road. And uh, so... I always, when I go on the road, carry my little FT-60, uh, and uh, it, it's a great little rig, and I'm going to show you how to program repeaters into it. So I've identified a couple frequencies on the Repeater Book app, and just like it sounds, Repeater Book app. It's an app. What's an app? I strongly recommend every ham should have this app on their phone, on their tablet, uh, whatever you travel with, so that uh, if you ever get stuck someplace and you got a radio, but you don't have the frequency pairs for the local repeaters, well, that's, <laughs> that's why you need to have it on your phone. So, I've identified a frequency and uh, we're going to start off. I am going to reset this. So what you want to do is turn it all the way off, which I've just done. It's this knob right here, right next to the antenna. There we go. I'll put it out there where you can see it. That knob right next to the antenna. Turn it all the way counterclockwise until it clicks. Now, over here, you'll see two buttons. One, two. Uh, one of them will have like a little dimple in the middle of it. That's the one you want to push. So you push that and hold it and turn the radio on. Now uh, you'll see multiple selections for types of resets. Uh, this is going to uh, set reset all your menu options. Uh, the next one is memory reset, which is going to reset your memories. Then You've got your memory bank reset, which is going to set up your memory banks. If you don't know what those are, go to the owner's manual. I'm not going to go into it here. And finally, there is an all reset, which takes everything back to factory reset. That is the one we're going to select. So you rotate this knob until you see which type of reset you want to do. And you come down here to the corner. It's right next to the orange D. It's F... Uh, FW. So that's your uh, functions key. So push that and we are now reset. No. reset, reset, reset. So we're going from scratch. Uh, the first frequency I want to put in is 146.79 uh, and it has a, a tone of 103.5. So let's figure out how to do those things. So here we go. I'm going to enter. I'm going to make sure I'm in the VFF mode uh, so that you pre press this button down here in the corner, V slash M, until you don't see a, a memory channel come up. Uh, so uh, let's, let's, let's enter that. I said 146.79. So 1, 4, 6, Seven, nine, and take it out to a zero. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. That's it. That is now set. Now I'm going to hit my function and come up here and hit squelch type and rotate this until it says tone. Now I'm going to click the push to talk button. And you'll see the you know, you'll notice the little tone uh, is up there. If you have one, please be following along with me. If you have one of these, uh, next we want to set the code. Again, we're going to push the function key, click on code. Right now it says 100. I want 103.5. So click it. There, it's on 103.5, and to set this one, it's a little different. You come back down to the function and press it again. Now, we want to store this into a memory. So we press and hold the function key, 
and it's there, it's flashing 001. I want to put this in memory 2. So just rotate it till it says memory 2 and press the function key. It says memory in and we now have that. So if I go to memory, you'll see that I have 146. Let me, let me do this. Let's see if I can bring that up. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see with the glare and stuff. 14679. And unfortunately, I'm going to kerchunk the repeater and give my call. ND3N. And unfortunately, there's nobody there. That's a shame. Uh, okay. So the next frequency I'm going to put in there is the national calling frequency. It is 146.52. So we're going to do that the same way. I'm going to go to the VFO mode. I'm going to enter 1, 4, 6, 5, 2, 0. I'm going to uh, turn off my tone. So function, squelch type, and turn that, rotate that till it says off. Click the push to talk button. So 146.52, no tone, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, let's put that in the memory. We're going to hold it, press and hold. And we're going to put this in memory location 1. And we're set. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to go look for a UHF frequency. I've got a number of them, but I, I just kind of want you to get used to this. This really is something that you should be practicing. Uh, if you have a uh, programmer, program software like the excellent, excellent RT system software, uh, then set that aside and go and hand enter some of your local repeaters. Use your hands. Get it to where it's second nature, where you just bump, a bump, a bump, a bump, a bump, and get it done. So I've got uh, 442.325. So let's do that. We go in here. We press our get. We get a press our V slash M to get us out of memory mode, and we're going to enter. What did I say? Four four three three two five. Okay. Four four three three two five. Now we are going to. Set the tone, 162, you know, 162.2, so we uh, first turn on our tone, so function, squelch type, tone, and click the push to talk, that turns the tone on. Now we have to put that tone in, so we go function, code, and I said that was 162.2. So just keep turning that until you see 162.2. And there it is. And press the, the function key. That is now in there. Let's uh, see if anybody's on this one. ND3N. And again, we got an unused repeater. This is not unusual. People are moving away from the repeaters. Those who are on repeaters are not on regular uh, FM repeaters. But let's go ahead and set, save this into memory. We press and hold the function key, and we turn it to the way we want it. And I like to separate my uh, my VHF and UHF, so I put that up on memory 10. And you press that, memory's in, voila, that is how to hand program the FT60. Uh, I don't have all the stuff I usually have with me. I, I got my camera, I got an extra light, 
uh, I got my microphone on, but yeah, I don't have everything, uh, so I'm I'm not in my little home studio, so I can't, couldn't do as well. But I hope you got the information. I will tell you that using the exact same method that I just showed you, there are several other things you can enter. You can go to the uh, National Weather Service radio and monitor. You know, get the national weather reports on your rig. Uh, you can also go into your menu functions and there's a menu function in there for weather alerts and basically it's going to constantly kind of be checking out to see if there are any weather alerts in your area and it'll inform you of those. Uh, those are things that you can go look up how to do. I will put a link down in the uh, in the magic box below uh, about uh, where you can find the National Weather Service frequencies for your area. And uh, another fun thing is to listen to the airband, which uh, are you know local airports and uh, you know pilots and control towers and that sort of stuff. And uh, what you want to do is go online, look up the airport. Community airports are the best. If if you happen to be live in a large city and have a huge airport, well they they've got so much stuff going on. But it's really nice to hear the, the weekend Cessna pilot coming in for a burger at your town's famous burger joint. Uh, that sort of stuff is what I, what I eat up. Uh, you can't talk on these bands. You can't talk to the pilot, and that's how he's doing, because you'd be violating the regulations, and your radio probably will not transmit there. But it's a fun thing to listen in on. And uh, just like I say, look look up your local uh, local airport. Look for information, and they'll have their frequencies uh, listed. And you enter those frequencies exactly the same way that you entered them. Would enter them into here. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, this video. I'm I'm really interested. Is this the kind of thing that you want to hear more of? Uh, now. Understand, I'm working with limitations here, so that, that, you know, yes, I would have loved to have put this in a white box or had multiple lights on it, but that, that wasn't in the cards for me this trip. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, maybe learned something from it. Uh, a lot of us have an old FT-60 sitting in the you know, drawer. Uh, get it out, resurrect it. Uh, it's still a good rig. It's still for sale today, and these things are made like a tank. Uh, I mentioned on another video, these are the ones that I always toss, toss in my travel on, uh, carry-on luggage when I, when I go on trips. Uh, I have several rigs, but these are the ones I use. And uh, maybe next time I could be talked into bringing one of my other HTs and giving you a demo on that. And maybe someday I'll actually... Have a new HD. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Please like me. Please. I certainly would appreciate it. Also, please share Sharing is fun. this video with your friends, especially those on social media groups. Uh, please uh, leave a comment. Questions? Comments? Down in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, also, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I sure would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to this channel. I subscribe to Team Beat. No pressure. That's for me. So, seven threes for now. Thanks for dropping by my hotel room, not my shack. And I look forward to uh, seeing you at the next video. Uh, as always, I'm Tom, ND3N. I'm at your service, and I'm out.